Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome back to Watcher of Realms. We're gonna go over the one and only, the most wanted mage, I would say, uh, for many out there. She is key, I would say, to beat Girid 1 in higher difficulties, comparing it to any other hero. I mean, Girid 1, if you have something like this guy here, all right, if you have my boy Lassier, he helps a lot with the anti healing. But before that, before we had him on the public realm public servers Vierna was the MVP because she has this very cool skill the execute ultimate ability 900% AOE damage and then kills off anybody who's at 35% or less elite monsters and bosses are excluded I mean, it would be nuts if she <laughs> executed bosses right uh, she also has an 180% damage to one enemy attack speed bonuses do not affect the basic attack meaning she just hits uh, for whatever she hits for. So all this attack that I have on her does nothing, <laughs> unfortunately. But whatever, uh, this is the gear that I had. I've given her this set called the Ageless Wrath set. It gives her crit damage plus more crit damage after me critical hit. So another plus 30. Eventually, she'll scale up to that, right? So um, I think with that said, I have tears of Twilight on her. I didn't max it out on purpose, so it's not overboard in terms of the attack didn't give her any awakenings she's fully skilled up because she is worth fully skilling up there's no question about it especially you're going you're going for the ultimate whenever you're skilling up a hero you're going for the ultimate right trying to get that skill cost reduction makes absolute sense look at that 800 rage and then 600 cost beautiful just beautiful all right um let's go in gear rate one Let's have a look at how she can perform in Gear Raid 1. Um, just finished a video showcasing Kai. So you, you might have seen, I think I'll post that before Vierna, because Vierna is, is, has been done so many times before. So I'm not going to use a Lord Hero for her. I mean, I could, could use a Lord Hero for her. She's a cultist, so um, perfect hero would be Morrigan. But if you don't have Morrigan, What's another good Lord here would be the epic one. We all got through. Uh, do I even have it? Yes, I do. All right. That gives me a little bit of damage on the basic attributes and increased faction allies damage dealt to enemies inflicted with stun, freeze, immobilize, and other control effects by 30%. When faction allies kill an enemy, increases their damage. Oh, wait, that's Demi. Whoopsie. 10% <laughs> faction allies attributes and then 20% boosted damage. I was thinking, wait. That's a little bit too strong. Whoopsie. <laughs> All right. This is the setup I used to beat stage 19. Uh, we're not going to go higher because um, it, it would take me a lot of time to properly build the team with the gear that I have on the test server. So uh, this is the team I usually use for gear raid one. I'll show you guys the example here. You'll need a main mage. She will not be your sole DPS. I don't think you can build her being your sole DPS, but the idea is to start ramping up the damage okay on them using something like a comet and then once you see that the, their their health going low okay you just do this do the execute and then she completely wipes out everything so beautiful you don't even need to pop dolores uh what i'll do next is i'll probably drop my laurel she'll give Ter uh, rage not I, I keep calling it terminator but it's not terminator and drop in my healer and then i can actually drop in my uh mole mole helps with attacking a little bit reducing reducing the um all right so now i can pop dolores there's comet he's doing damage and then we execute there with the with um with Vierna, that was so quick, by the way. I, I didn't even have the time to to react to it. So here, again, Laurel, we take her up. Pop in the ultimate with Dolores. See if they go a little bit low. Then pop the ulti. Look at that execution there. Beautiful. Comet didn't even pop the ultimate there. Um, I can pop it now, actually. And pop it now so he starts doing a little bit of damage so when laurel comes in 
And then I do withdraw her. I do this. And VR now just eliminates them. I think if I had her in, I have her in, in like a bad positioning, I could have had Kamet behind so that she targets also the guys here. Right? I think my positioning is a little bit wrong with her, but the wall seems so protected. It's like it's having the time of its life over there. Um, saving the ultimate. Let's pop in. Let's pop in everything. Ooh, we have Laurel. On Vierna. Pop Vierna. She eliminates a few of these guys. Oof. I actually even dropped my Volca there. She can do a defense down. I can't see the enemy's health so clearly. Would have been nice if there was a way to, you know, more clearly see see their health. Look at that. There's the ultimate through. Do the damage and then Comet is basically going to clear the boss. So, um, the wall here is left with like 50%. And... That was like the perfect scenario, perfect scenario to be eliminating the opponents. And I had her at a bad positioning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. She had a bad positioning there. Definitely could have been improved. So here on the boss, I mean, she won't execute. That would have been nice, but she does like, boom, did about 5%. I want to say of the boss health. I think my Kamet is, is much stronger. You might see higher damage numbers from Kamet because he had a wider range. Reach, not range, reach. So, let's see. There it is, clear off the boss. The wall did get uh, get hit, look at that. The boss is half, half uh, brought down actually, that's cool. So, <laughs> better run. I didn't have power of dominance by the way on, I, I had it off. So let's see our damage in the end. Very close, 57 million to 43 million. And again, she's not supposed to be your main damage bear. She's supposed to be your just executioner there. She's going to help you a lot with this, um, with this dungeon, for sure. Going to help you so much, guys. Um, and that's why I'm going for her, this, this 10x. All right, guys, let me show you gear rate 19 on how this works. Uh, on gear rate 219 on how this works with Vierna. Uh, this is the setup where you drop in Decimus and stuff. Well, we're just gonna see her in action where she kills off the enemies as they come through. Honestly, uh, she's just so strong. You don't even need to pop her ultimate for these guys. For 19, uh, 219, you don't even need to do that. How much damage does she do? 400k. That's crazy. All right, let's withdraw her and um, see how she does on the second round. So here, um, it's where you drop in Decimus as the guy is running towards you. If you've done this so far, then you know the strategy, but she worked so well all the way to 21. This. There it is. Enemies running at you, boom. Look at that, both charging at you. Doesn't look so clearly when they charge at you, but yeah, that's what happens. Gotta drop in your healer first. Then everybody else. And drop in Sirene there for the extra. Um, I'm waiting for another, another enemy to come here. So here you would pop Dolores. And then immediately pop Vierna. And once you do that, get everybody back. I think Sarin gave me the cost back, so that's a success. Okay. Here. Oh, wasn't fast enough there. All right. I hope this is still doable. Drop in Volca for that part. Uh, no, I thought it was going to be doable. All right, let's drop in everybody. Um, yeah, I think because I dropped Sirene, that was uh, like the issue here. So once these guys come into range, 
and you have your Dolores, just do this and you execute them. And just like that, withdraw everything. Should be even quicker, usually. I just don't like the enemies, um, the icons. No, what are they called? The, uh, whatever the design was for these guys, I don't like it. There we go. Man, I don't know what's happening today. Ah, the field runs. All right, yeah, you saw the point there. She does a lot of damage. I believe she can do kind of the same thing on 21. Like if we jump all the way to 21 now. So for gear day two, you would do basically the same thing. I just cannot show you guys right now. Um, I need a specific artifact for Dolores for her to get her rage. Uh, if I had Laurel, maybe I could show it. Thing with Laurel, I could do it. Um, do I need Laurel though? Let's just go. Let's just go. I want to show you guys the damage she does. Uh, she does. All right. So she's she's got very good gear. She also has a very good Lord skill on uh on her to help her with damage. So let's look. There we go. We drop our tank there. You can soak up some damage. And then draw these two. Kills them off so quickly. Get the cost back. Draw her. We're at 60 cost, right? So that's the strategy on, on 21. Again, it's the same thing. If you have the gear uh, farmed up slowly, but surely, you know. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, we wait the boy to run. There it is. Both speedy boys. Not at all easy to, to see them. Not at all easy, right? I don't know if I need um, Dolores there, but uh, oh yeah, we don't do Sirene here because she she's needed later. I wonder if she can do this. Yeah. And withdrew everything at the right time. Okay, good. Eight, eight. Ah, why are they so fast? It's the two X speed I have. That's that's what messing things up for me. All right, those two are boosting up. And drop in Volka. Soaks up one, soaks up the second one. All right, that's good. And now we're just waiting for our uh, cooldowns. Cooldowns here. Drop in our first tank. Drop in our second tank. Drop in our healer. Need our Vierna. Is my healer just not tanky enough? Oh, he's going to die. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I need to I need to switch the gear on. I, mean, I wanted to see the damage on Vierna. I need to switch the gear on Vortex, but um, I don't think it's needed. It's it's not a, a showcase of Vortex. It's a showcase of Vierna, uh, uh, the damage that she can do. All right, you can see on how, how she can perform there. Fantastic. Fantastic damage dealer uh, for 21 even. On Gear 3, as I said, like the damage she can do is very limited. Like... It, Try her even with power of dominance to see, but I don't think I don't think she can do anything with power of dominance. Right? Um let's see, do we hit these guys? No. 
All right, let me just show you guys. Power of Dominus is needed here for this showcase. Because it's just going to see, we're just going to see um, how Vierna would perform, right? Anything works with Power of Dominance, honestly. Anything works, but. Yeah, let's pop that. Let's kill the boss. Get it out of the way. Yeah, let's see Vierna. She's not. She can't even reach there. Yeah. Can't even reach on the left side. The, the enemies need to move on a little bit. So that's why. She doesn't do that well for um, 19 and higher because this is the, the stage that you're fighting there. So ultimate there, look at that. He basically did something. She's hitting for 4,000. It's just not a place for her with power of dominance. Look at that. Ah, so bad. <laughs> so bad with power of dominance. Just do not. Just do not. I enjoy how you can use Vierna in specific areas of the game. She works fantastic in the campaign does the same thing basically works wonders in the void the void rift so that's where you're going to be using here that's it guys for today for this video thank you all for watching subscribe if you haven't and i will see you in the next one see ya